So it's New York City, uh, and it's Black Friday, and something or someone uh, released a malicious virus upon the city. It quickly uh, spread throughout the city and basically uh, turned it into this uh, this lawless, disease-ridden city. And then you have these uh, the, the agent that you play, the division agent, uh, who is asked to to go in this area and uh, try to make things better. Tom Clancy's The Division is shaping up to be one of the more anticipated video games of 2014. And for once a small Swedish developer of massive entertainment, it will be the first time they'll be taking the lead on a project of this size. It was like going from the uh, Swedish uh, Hockey League to the NHL, which is really the case. This is our big chance to do uh, an enormous game on the biggest scene, which is of course a bigger challenge, but also uh, a lot more fun. A key component of the title is a focus on creating a realistic world. It takes months uh, of, of, of research and talking to the right people, interviewing people from uh, CIA, FEMA, New York City, to gather all the information to try and build up this universe about the disease and the response from the disease. With hundreds of people involved and production times spanning several years for a single title, there's a lot of financial risk in the video games industry. Shooting games especially find themselves in a crowded genre, which means that developers also need to find ways to differentiate their titles from the competition. Of course the visuals and the looks and the style and the tone of the game is an area where you can really, really uh, carve out your own niche. But then I think what we're beginning to see now is more interesting developments on the narrative side. I think we're seeing more games where the story and the background and the characters are actually coming to life and also that in itself allows uh, every game to be much much more unique.